Bishut Kala Kadosh, everybody welcome. Thank you for everybody join us. The Kolel, Oila Ron, in the Parasbet Knesset. Please everybody join us every Tuesday and Thursday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Be'ezrat Hashem Nuriel Ben Nuriel Ben Gabriel Parachat Lacha Vegam Rufwash Lema to his uncle that was supporting the shiur today in the food. Rufwash Lema Rufa Danev Shufa Daguf Eliyahu Elusha Ben Rosa Rufwash Lema Rufa Danev Shufa Daguf Vechen Yeratzon Velomar Amen אלף הבדלות בין המתים לחיים, כל הנפטרים ונפטרות לאלו נשמת, whoever is not able to say Kaddish for the people that passed away from this world in this year. גם אלף הבדלות בין החיים למתים, יהיה ברכה הצלחה, יורי דיכקנוב בן אליעזר וגם קיריל דניאל בן מיכואל, זיווג הגון בשנה הזה, אברהם בן אברהם ארקדי בן אולגה, זיווג הגון, ניסים בן בכור, בריס, שהתחתם בשנה הזו בעזרת השם, אליהו בן ברוך, וכן יהיה רצון ונאמר אמן. So we continue with our סדר of אמונה. אמונה לא תתורו אחרי לבבכם ואחרי נכם אשר אתם זונים אחריכם. So in a פסוק in a verse in a Torah it says, ולא תתורו אחרי לבבכם. We should not go according to our eyes. And our hearts, they are the one who is making the sin for the person. Amru Chazar Acharei Levavchem Zeminut. Acharei Levavchem. Our sages say we go according to our hearts. That the heart able to give a person minut, minut, which is means not believer. Vacharei Nechem Ze Arayot. Go according to the eyes. He wants the eyes to be travel. And the eyes are traveling, and it could be doing transgressional sin with the ladies. Chas v'shalom. Kevan v'lot aturu acharei lavavchem zeh minud amar etzel v'lot aturu acharei nechem b'avaday shikulim hem. So we should not go according to our eyes and our heart. This is in the same level, which is means shikulim hem. They in the same mishkal, in the same weight. Of a person that able to control his eyes and his heart. Rotzel lomar teva adam noteh b'vaday liminut. He says the nature of the person. He goes according neged, which is means against Hakadosh Baruch Hu. K'moshe anach nuriim b'chol adam, like we see in every person. She chabed alav v'lo yachol asad alav shum ol. For a person is very hard to accept any ol, which is means. Anything burden from the heaven. Lulei haya teva maskim et ima emuna loya mimames bateva bechol ol vayam soviv makiv baal Hashem baalo Hashem idbarach michol tzad. How he says, if the teva nature of the person is able to understand how the Kadosh Baruch Hu works, a person never will go against the Kadosh Baruch Hu. That means our nature is going against Hakadosh Baruch Hu. This is our teva. So each one of us, when we say, is a good person, is a tzaddik, but the Chachamim says no, opposite, is not a tzaddik, because he cannot control his heart, because he takes the all of the Torah, which is means the burden, the weight of the Torah, he takes it out from him. He takes it out. לכן עזירו תורה לא תתורו אחרי לבבכם. רוצה לומר, תשנו וינצחו את הטבע, הנוטה תמיד למינות. אבל חז"ל explain to us, we should always be careful, do not go according to our hearts, and we should conquer the nature of what the person wanted to go, חס ושלום, against הקדוש ברוך הוא. כמו עיניים נוטה להיות חופשים, like the eyes that are always traveling. וזה בחוש, והעניין נורא נבהיל מאוד. And we see it's very, very scary. אם נער כל זה, נו, 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 נ
אמנם כל זה לא ייוודע אדם רק אחרי שיבחין נישא את עצמו, מה יכול, מה אינו יכול. He says the only way a person able to know, whatever is able to, יבחין ונישא את עצמו, מה הוא יכול, מה אינו יכול. A person should know what is able to do, what is not able to do. He should know. מה אפשר, מה לא לכרוע, אי אפשר לא. A person if never test himself, and never even act of testing himself and doing it, what's for him and what's not for him, what is able to capable of doing it, not able to capable of doing it. כי מי שלא ניסה להגביל את עיניו, לא יסתכל מארבע עמוד וחוצה להם. He says a person if able to control his eyes, and he says to himself, I never gonna look more than a six feet apart from myself. ולא ידע בשום אופן זה אי אפשר לעשות. He would not know it's impossible to do it, because not everybody could do it. כיוון שסובר את תנועותיו של ברשותו. He says, each person, we have to control our feelings, and we have to control our eyes. אבל כבר ראינו בתשובת רבי היי גאון. רב היי גאון says, שנגג רב שלא יסתכל בארבע עמוד וחוצה. רב היי גאון says, we should not look, at least רב היי גאון did, He did not look for a mod chutza, which is means for a mod six feet apart. He did not look. Yami Nahek was a kol yeme chayav. Rav Hai Gaon, all his life, was not looking more than a six feet away from himself. You could go closer, closer, come closer. There's, there's nothing there. Closer. So Yami Nahek was a kol yeme chayav. Rav Yosi. רב יוסף ורב ששת רוצה להרוג אבטרי לא יכלו. רב יוסי ורב ששת able to stay away six feet apart, they're not able to stay six feet apart, which is means to control the eyes. עד שנקרו את עיניהם, רב יוסי ורב ששת, what they did, they took out the eyes from themselves, which is when they נקרו את העיניים. They took out their eyes and they took it from the body, which is became blind. What's the big deal if a person is, can control his eyes? He says a person can't even control one hour not to travel his eyes. For example, somebody walks in over here, or somebody does anything, everybody looks. What's so important that he does? He picked up food. What important he does? He looked at the phone. What important? Nothing important. A person is always curious and never pay attention. Ki lo istaklut mi arba amod vechutza, veze badai mi pnei ateva adam shiye mi... מביט עיניו וחופשי כל הפינות וכל הצדדים מקרוב מרחוק. A person give to his eyes all the time to look around. And whatever he looks around, you're going to say, listen, הקדוש ברוך הוא give me eyes, I'm supposed to be look around. חכמים says, be careful with your eyes. They're the one who's causing you to do all the sins in this world. וזה שאמרו, לא תתורו אחרי לבבכם זה עריות. That's why in the Torah two times they would say, we should not go according to our eyes. So what does it mean? רוצה לומר, להגביל את המבט עיניו, ינצח את הטבע חופשית לאסרם. He says we have to be careful, our nature is looking around, and we have to control our nature. If we cannot control our nature, we God forbid become worse than animals. We have to control our nature. כבר אמרו חוקרים הגדולים, הכל קל מי שאינו מבין. It's everything easy if somebody does not understand. לא כל העניין הזה מבהיל. It's everything that he says, he says it's very scary. מטבע האדם לחשוב כי הכל במקרה. He says we humans, we thinking everything happens in this world, מקרה. מקרה, which is means coincident. Snow happened today, coincident. Rain happened, coincident. He says that's our nature. 
Something bad happened to him, it's a nature. Something good happened to him, it's a nature. So Teva Adam, again I'm repeating it, a nature of the human is thinking everything is coincident. Nothing Hashem Barak. We say Hashem, Hashem Barak can. I don't know if we believe what we say. Hashem Barak, I call it Hashem Barak. If we say Hashem Barak, all the Bet Knesset, all the Bet Knesset, Bet Amidrash is supposed to be full. If we say everything Hashem. No, but Rabbi, I have my own things to do in my life. Hateva Adam Bayamav Neurav Lachshov Hakol Mikro. He says a person from his little age, he's thinking everything is coincident. That means we're raised to have everything coincident. Chas shalom. We should not think everything is coincident. Velo michuvan ki adam bateva rachog mi siba mi soviv. He says a person in his nature, he does not know what's around him. He thinks is everything happening because it's coincident. Varechnu baze ki ma shinemar. V'im tilchu imu bakeri. Akadosh Baruch Hu says, if you're going to go with me, with the negativity, I will go with you with the negativity. Can I have a chumash, please? Yes. Okay. Thank you. In a pasuk, in a sefer dvarim, in a pasuk, Perek 27, Pasuk 26. I'm sorry that I'm going to surprise you guys. I'm so sorry. Mechila that I'm going to surprise you. Arur Asher Lo Yakim Edivre Hatora Hazot Lasot Otam Vamar Kol Haam Amen. Translation A curse is one who would not uphold the words of the Torah and to perform them. So curse is that person, God forbid, whoever is not gonna make the Torah. Lo yakim et which is means he would not lift the Torah. Hazol asotam otam vaamar kol amen, kol haam amen. So if somebody is not going to spread the Torah of Hashem, curses that person. That's what you say in a parasha kitavo. Until now you knew, that's what it says in parasha kitavo. Until now you knew that you need to spread the Torah of Hashem. If you're not spreading, you're being cursed, chas v'shalom. Did you know this? Did anybody know this pasuk over here? I know. Baruch Hashem. Huh? No, we don't do this in the morning. We say this in parasha kitavo. We say this in the night time. We say to learn and to teach. No, but over here it says not only to learn to teach, you're spreading the Torah of Hashem. Are we going around and saying this is today's shiur and we're spreading the Torah of Hashem? Tomorrow is another shiur, we're spreading the Torah of Hashem. That anybody does over here every day. You read this in the Torah, it says in Parashah Kitavo. So it says in the Parashah Kitavo, Arur Hashem lo yakim et divrei ha Torah zod la'asot amama. And we have to do it, what it says in the Torah, and we have to spread it. So if we don't spread it, God forbid, we could be cursed, whatever it says in the Torah. Did anybody read this pasuk, this verse? This verse in Parashat Kitavo. So each one of us, tomorrow after 120, we have obligation to spread the Torah of Hashem. Did we spread it? Rabbi, my kids go to yeshiva, my grandkids go to yeshiva, it's good enough, that's it. So what? My kids is going to also to yeshiva. What does it have to do with anything? It's saying, do you spreading the words of Hashem? No, listen, I give a tzedakah here, there. That's not called spreading Hashem. Spreading Hashem the way we spread. When somebody have a bar mitzvah, what do we do? For one bar mitzvah, we call 
hundred relatives, two hundred. Hello, you coming? You're not coming. Hello, you coming? You're not coming. Did anybody came over here and did, hello, do you coming for shiur or you're not coming? No, I'm just saying in general, does people do that or does not do that? We don't do that. That means if we don't do that, God forbid we could be part of this curse. I'm not telling you this. You go read it yourself. In Epedic 27, Pasuk 26, in Parashat Kitavo, Sefer Dvarim. So how do we know if I have enough koach, power and strength to do it or not? You know, people are going to tell me, no, I cannot come to Shurim. You, get, you cannot spread the Torah. How many people did you call for your wedding, for your daughter and a son, and people told you no? You still call other people? Yes, you did. For everything, for every little thing, we're going to get judged. We cannot have excuses, I'm sorry. Tomorrow you're going to say to Hashem, Hashem, I made a wedding for my daughter. There's a hundred people, there's a four hundred people, hundred of them say no. Did Hashem told you, did you call other people, even they told you no? You say, yeah, of course. Why? Because I want to make a wedding. I want to make it big. I want to tell people. I want to invite people. Then Hashem is going to ask you, did you invite people to Shiru? Did you spread my words? Hashem, I did. I called one person over here, over there. I saw somebody in my work. It's enough. Uh-huh. So each one of us, the way, don't forget, guys, the way we put the power and the shred everything you do, for your family, Hashem is going to ask you the same way you did for me. I'm sorry I'm surprising you with everything that I read from here. So Sava Mikhailim says, if you never try your strength and the power of Kohot, how do you know what are you able, capable of doing it, not to do it? I give you a prime example. Wedding of the daughter and the son. You spread it, yes. Did people told you yes? Yes. Did people told you no? No. Did you prepare for it? Yes. Did any of us prepare for any shiurim for others? And spread the words of the Torah? No. So, go read this. Parashat Kitavo. If God forbid if a person does not do it, he's going to be cursed. Then we say, uh, I come to Bet Knesset, I pray, I pray three times. I don't know. That's what he says at least. I don't know. That you did it for yourself because over there is a parnaftar. You, everything you ask, you did it for yourself. You didn't do it for me. Did you do it for me to spread my Torah? No, Rabbi, I was too busy. He's going to take the bar mitzvah. You were too busy when you made a bar mitzvah? No, I was never busy. How did you make a time? I made a time. Did you have a yeshvo? It's not even mitzvah doraita. To do a yeshvo, it's not your side. It's not from the Torah. Did you call people? Yes. yes. Did you arrange people? Yes. Did you prepare food? Yes. So what happens now? When somebody's going to tell you, did you do the same thing for Hashem? What are you going to say? Yes. I didn't know. He says, excuse me. In Masechet Barachot, it says, in page 8, you need to finish the whole parasha with the Rashi, the whole Torah by the Rosh Hashanah. Whole parasha with the whole Torah we have to finish with Pirush Rashi. So Hashem is going to ask us, did you come to the parasha Kitavo? You're going to say yes. Did you remember this verse? You're going to say, yeah, I never read it. He says, did you come to Bet Knesset every Shabbat? You're going to say yes. Did you look at it? He's going to say yes. So why don't you do it? Hashem, I was busy. So every answer I'm going to tell you and every question, we better be ready. If we're not ready, anachnu avud chas We are lost. If we're not ready, we are lost. And you're going to be surprised. And that surprises is not going to help you. You better start acting now. If we're not acting now, forget about it. I, I heard so many different Torah. You know what I heard today? Beautiful different Torah. Some guy, he's, he wants to learn. The rabbi told him in Yom Kippur. 
in a kol nidre. He said it. You know, if you're going to see something not tzanua, which is not modest in the street, you close your eyes so you turn around, it's greater than all the Torah that you're learning. I said, so let me come out of my yeshiva right now. And just every time we're going to see something and it's greater than everything. That's not the way it works. What's one has to do with another? That's what we're learning. We used to learn something. Mistapek. Whatever we know. Ah, that's what it is. But I'm giving you what it says in the Torah. I did not made it up. I'm giving you sources. I'm telling you where to go read it yourself. Without some rabbi said in Yom Kippur, and he says, you know, all the sins getting erased. I said, yes, I'm sorry, you didn't read Masachet Yoma, page 85. All the sins does not get erased, I'm sorry. You have a Yom Kippur, you have Isurim, and you have a Tshuva. You need to go through those three things. He says, no, I bought a Kol Nidre and a Yom Kippur, that said, I'm good. I said, I wish I could buy it with $100,000 for the Yom Kippur for Kol Nidre. And all my sins, all the packages will get erased. What a great package. Right? That's what we say. Let's not lie to ourselves. Saba Mikhailim says, each one of us, we have a tremendous amount of power and strength that we're able to raise our level. If we're not raising our level, that means we're going back. And that's what we are. We're going back all the time. How many years be given shiur, shiur, shiur? The prayer is the same thing. It not ha good. Min hagim, the same min hag. If he needs to come 7 o'clock, min shacharit is 6.30, he comes 7 o'clock. He's been doing this for years. People just cannot come out of the boxes. They used to. They love it. But if you're going to tell them something new, Rabbi John, you are hitting us. What are you doing to us? I'm not doing the Torah. You go to look at the sources. I'm sorry. You know, all of, most of you knows how to read English in Russian, translation in Russian. Go read the Torah. That means we're not learning. That means we're just sitting and just, the ears are closed. Rabbi, I didn't hear what you said. You just said? Very important. He says following like this. Hashem says, if you're going to go against me, Therefore, he says, most of the people does not even pay attention to what I'm saying over here. Don't pay attention. He says, if a person goes with the nature and he says everything is coincident, he says he's going to continue doing sin and there's nobody who's watching after him. And that's what we are. Nobody watch. If we knew Akadosh Baruch Hu is watch after us for everything that we do, we will be much, much better in the mitzvot the way we do. We believe. Everybody believe. Hateva adam l'achshov kochi ve'etzim yadi. He says, our nature thinking everything I did, I did myself. I have an apartment, I have a house, I have a kids, everything, I have a business, everything I did. Yeah, Baruch Hashem. We say Baruch Hashem. But we don't understand what means Baruch Hashem. A person is always says, I did it. In Sefer Dvarim Parasha Ekef it says, in a Pasuk 12 and 17. You know what it says over there, right? Vachalta Vasavata. I became satisfied. You give me a lot of money. And you forgot who is your God. A person that is full, he would not know the person that is hungry. The nature of a person, once he gets full, 
What Hashem? Who Hashem? Excuse me, there's a shiur, excuse me, there's a tefillah. It's okay, it's okay. Next, later, later, later. ואמרת כוכי ועוצי מידי, כן תאמר בדרך הטבע. אמר הכתוב, וזכרת את השם. When a person says, everything I did, he right away needs to remember השם. הרי אדם בטבע יתנהג כך. He says, a person in his nature, that's the way it is. Is everything he says, I did it, I. That's the nature. Again, we're all saying whatever Saba Mikelem over here is saying. He's saying, this is our nature. That means anybody who's sitting here, or anybody who's listening, or anybody out there in the world, that's the way they're thinking. They're not thinking any different. That's the way it's thinking. And that's the way it works. If a person really have an emunah, which is, that's what we're learning. Ha'ish chirpa nichshad hu Avil v'chamas v'gam shvichud damim b'seter. A person does not have an emunah. He would do chamas steal. He would spill clean blood that nobody would know. Ki ma yatsrenu mehamda chazaka aboeret bo. A person desire wants to, for these things and it burns inside of him. Gam pilosofim hagdolim hodu ki bilti emunah it says, without the emunah, we cannot give to, to each other whatever we need to give. Through emunah, we're able to give. Like we learn right now. If there is no emunah, we cannot be able to give. Rabbi, I give charities. Yes. How much? Two dollars. Shmona Yisrael, that's it. Tzchok Yeladim. We are over here, we're making what? We're making fun of each other. Ma shivinu laze, bavadai ba mistarim yavo, ba nefesh ki laabed lair kulo. He says a person does not have a emunah, he destroys the soul, all city. Ava ulam kulo bishvilo. He destroys the whole world because of him. Look at the Noah time. 120 years Noah was building the Teva, the Ark. What happened 120 years? People, did, people looked. Did Noah go and tell them, listen, it's going to be a flood. Hashem going to destroy. What people did? Rabbi, don't worry, everything is okay. 120 years they were looking what's happening. Not 12 days. Not 12 months, not 12 years, 120 years was telling to people. What people think? Hashem is not going to do it. Hashem loves us. He forgives us. Malearetz Hamas. They say the whole land was stealing. Okay, so what? What's the big deal stealing? Hashem is going to forgive us. Hashem Rachum Vechanun. Yeah, he's so rachum v'chanun that 120 years it took him to realize people that he needs to erase the world. Nimabul happened, but we're not listening. It's impossible to listen because the ears are plugged, cannot hear it. Le'amnu amizot bilte emanat ashra'a ma shitire ki ish tov gomel chasadim rak leitna od bam kemo shareachnu chachma baze harbe. He says, a person is most of the time, says every time investing on himself, not to others. But in the Judaism, it's everything investing not only to ourselves, also investing to others. Gever. What means gever? Gemilut chasadim. We need to be doing kindness to another. This rabbi called me from Israel, I did a kindness one time. Kindness 24-7. Gever gemilut chasadim. By shani, we need to a little bit be embarrassed. By shani, which is, means all the people walk in, we need to get up in front of them. By shani. Rachmanim, we have to be mercy. Merciful. Zenikra gever. If a person says, 
מי הגבר? יהיו הגבר that we ask him? So Chazal says these three midot, these three characters, every Jewish person has. He just needs to work that out. בלתי אמנת השעה, מה שתראה כי איש טוב גומל חסדים רק להתענות בם, כמו שערכנו בזה בחכמים הרבה. He says a person most of the times is investing on himself. It's כולו שלו, only me, 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 my kids, my grandkids, my family, that's it. חוץ לארבע אמות, four, which is six feet, from outside, he looks sometimes. Why we need to give to this position? הראינו לדעת הכל מודים העולם, אין יכול להתקיים בלי דעת נימוסי. He says a world even knows without דעת, without understanding how Hashem works, the world cannot sustain. כאשר קרו חכמי המידות, חוכמת המדינית, דהיינו קיום המדינה היא נצרכת. חז"ל אמר לנו, המדינה או המדינה בלי דעת נימוסי, There is no country. It's not considered as a city or country. Look at what happened in a Sodom. Sodom, they had no laws. They not had no gimilut chasadim. Sodom was za'aka gdola. Hashem destroyed the whole Sodom. Sodom is one of the worst places to be in the world. And the Chachamim says, if there is no laws in a city or in a country, You should get out of that city. Because at the end it's going to get destroyed. He says when a person shows himself from outside, but inside is nothing in, says don't trust that person and don't believe whatever you see in the outside. משה אין כן מרדות אחר אחד בליבו של אדם טובה ממי המלכויות. He says from outside a person could show himself tzaddik, but inside of his heart he has a big problem. He's not straight. כי יעיל לתקן הפנימיות ויעיל דבר בסתר. A person should work on his heart how to fix his heart. ואין מרדות זה כי אם אמונה בשכר ועונש. A person has to understand there's a שכר and עונש. There's a reward and a punishment. We have to know it. If we don't know there's a reward and punishment, we just walk in and that's it. We're doing mitzvah, okay, I put it on, okay, what the rabbi says, it's okay. And that's it. רק עוד היא הטבע הגורם אמונה. כי קיום העולם תלוי בה. He says, on our teva, in our emunah, depends the whole world. This whole world depends in our emunah. How much emunah do we have? Ki lule zod en davar shagul adam shelo l'archiv ha'olam al korchokha yesh schar v'onesh. If God forbid, if a person does not have an emunah, he does not know what means schar v'onesh, which is means the reward and a punishment. He says, Emuna depends how the world is going to sustain. Emuna depends how the world is going to sustain. It then depends on our Emuna. The way we're going to act, the way we're going to do the acts. And we need to raise our level of acting more and more. ידיעת אמונה מביאה שמחה. Oh, that's the one thing we cannot have. He says, אמונה brings a person to שמחה. How many of us walking in the street or coming to the shul with smiling? Smile. None of us. We don't see it. We don't have smile. Look at your faces. No smile whatsoever. You don't even sing. Nobody told you you got to be the best singer, but you don't even sing. Why we don't have a smile in our faces? Smile. How do you see other people you smile? 
How do you see your in-laws you smile? When you make money, you see your paycheck. How come you're smiling? How come in others we don't smile? I can't believe the life is so depressing. The fact that I'm seeing and hearing and talking and able to digest food, more happiness, what more happiness than that? But Rabbi, I have a problem with the rent. But Rabbi, I don't have a kids. I need a kids. But Rabbi, my kids, I have a kids. But they don't go, they, they need a two row. But Rabbi, I have a problem with the wife. My mother-in-law, my father is all my problem. If we're going to accept it with the simcha, it's going to be much greater than life. We're not happy. How is able, able to be a simcha? Through emuna. Whatever I just said, I made a lot of people, God forbid, depressed. Because I already saw the faces. Whatever I quote you from the Torah. We're supposed to be happy that we have a information. I'm opening for you guys information that you never heard in your life. Once you have the information, you're able to work and make it greater. But if we never have the information... We're always going to look, that we always think that we're right, and everything we did was right. Shiadam idbarelo is a birul al emuna, anu roim bachush kulano, simchatit gadel, titrabe balev, hashomim meod meod. If a person really learning emuna, he's going to be very, very happy. Gama guf male simcha, mepe el pe. The body also becomes happy. Lama simcha. He says, why we have to be happy? Says the fact that we have to be happy, that we are kids of Akadosh Baruch Hu, that are able to do everything. And that's what I don't believe. We don't believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu would do everything for his kids. Person, he needs to build a yeshiva. He goes to the rich guy, he says, please, I'm building yeshiva so and so, give me a check. He gives a check and he says, don't come back to me again. What about Akadosh Baruch Hu? Akadosh Baruch Hu? There is no problem for him give not one check, not two check, not three check, not four check, not ten checks. Unlimited! Because that's what it says in the Torah. Whatever it says in the Torah, he has to do it or he does not have to do it. We, whatever we promise between humans, we don't do it. But the Kadosh Baruch Hu, whatever he promised, it's a guarantee. It just, do we believe it? If we believe it, Meachos, can, can, I believe it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see you in Yeshivot. Let's see you over here. Coming every day. How many excuses we have? Banim Atem. A Torah calls you, not me, not my grandfather, not your rabbi. Banim Atem Hashem. We the kids of Hashem. In the Torah it says. You believe that it says in the Torah, you the kid of Hashem? Limi, hakol yachol, mi yavin af muad, ma zod yachol. Hayesh simcha yoter mize. He says, do you have a more happiness than a kadosh baruch Hu able to do everything in this world? Hakol yachol. Do we believe that Hashem would us? Anachnu lo mivakshim. We don't ask. We ask, we ask, Rabbi. What are you talking about? We ask. Yeah. How do you ask? I ask. Baruch Atah Hashem. Elokeinu Melech Olam Baruch Pereh Ayetz Baruch Pereh Adama. Amunai Tzvatah 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 Tz
You're looking at a clock, how to get out of the shul. You're looking at a clock, how to get out of the shul. I mean, you, you, if you believe there's a father that's able to do everything and anything, would you have an appointment with him even longer? Well, Rabbi, we have things to do. Ask. He would misadere the things. He would put the things together. So why are we not happy, he says. The reason we're not happy, because we're not thinking we are kids of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Yeah, excuse me, Rabbi, I know I read it. I'm a Bal Kore. I read in the Torah. Yeah, you're just a, you're just a reader. You're not an understander. Anybody could read. Reading and all the time developing and saying, I'm happy because Akadosh Baruch Hu is my father. What's more happiness than this? There's nothing happy than that. But we're not happy. Because we don't believe in this Pasuk in the Torah. Sefer Dvarim, Perg Dalit, Pasuk Alif. Banim Atem, the Torah calls you my kids. Do you believe that you are the kid of Akadosh Baruch Hu because you have a keep a yarmulke and a beer and a peyot? That's not make you banim. That's part of it, but does not make you the kid. The kid has to be happy. Smiling. Smiling all the time. Smiling is good not only for you, for your brains, for your body. But unfortunately, social media does it so much, but we don't have smiles. So all the time something comes out. Why can we look at QV? Something nice. Something that we do every day that HaKadosh Baruch Hu give me nice. Does nice. Do everything good for me. Ro'e kama simcha le'adam idvare lo dato briyud brurot ne'emonot gama nefesh abehemi. Kama simcha le'adam idvare lo dato briyud. He says if a person would understand what I'm saying. And he says he will be healthy in his mind. Gama nefesh behemi. A person, each one of us, we have a soul, the animalistic soul inside of us. Halo hadad hu nitzchit mipi ha'ilion. He says our Torah, it comes from Hashem. And it's never going to change. Nitzchit, nitzchit, which just means it's eternity forever. Says Hashem says, you study my Torah, you do everything that my mitzvot, I will give you a long life. The problem is, do we believe it? Sefer Dvarim, that's what it says. Amru Chazal, leman yitav lecha ba'olam shukulot tov. A Chazal explained to us in Sefer Dvarim, Perek Chabbet, Pasuk Zayin. Leman yitav lach. He says, I will do good for you. Lach. Lo katuf, lachem. It does not say to you, all of you. Lach, individual. To each individual, Hashem would do good, not as a Jewish people put together. Lecha, you are. Ba'olam shekulot tov. I give you the world, everything is good. Va'arachta yamim ba'olam shekulot aruch. And I give you a long life, it's eternity. Like it says, Masechet Kiddushin, Dafla Mitet Amut Bet. V'im ba'mitzvah kala ki isur kach. He says, but his desires and his wants is very hard for him, for the humans. He says, if a person goes according to the Torah, the reward, we don't understand it. He says, one minute or one hour, the share in the world to come is much, much greater than the whole this world put together. The whole world put together. One hour in Torah and Mitzvot Masim in this world is much greater than the whole share in the world to come. That means we came here 
We need to grab, but we're not grabbing, we are sleeping. Sleepies. Look at the shoe. I'm tired. I have a driver. Twelve kids, two quids, handicapped. And he prays almost nets, and he works two jobs, and he's happy and he's always smiling. How many kids we made? Three kids, two kids, five of, of us, some of you over here. Top, I'm talking about. And you're still tired. How much Pirkei Avod is given us khar that we have to have in this world and to share in the world to come. He says, a person able to lead gaver, which is overbecome his nefesh, which is means his nefesh behemi, his animalistic inside of him, how he's able to control. If a person really believes in Hashem, 100%, he says, this is the biggest oning, this is the biggest pleasure in the world. But how come when we hear the Torah, we become depressed or fallen asleep? Imagine I'm going to put all the stakes, all the beautiful stakes over here, none of us will fall asleep. The eyes are going crazy, which one should I pick? I'm going to bring 100 different ones. Nobody falling asleep. Now when it comes to the topic of Emunah Simcha, I don't think so, I know so. It's a fact. You know one the restaurant, one of the owners who told me? Says that people, all I do is make them so, so much, and the eyes are going crazy. The most important thing is the eyes. That's what it says in the book. The eyes. The eyes. But, he says following. Emunah, if somebody really learns Emunah real, real true, what's going to happen? It happened the biggest oneg. Oneg, which just means the biggest pleasure. Can any of us could say, I feel the pleasure from Emunah? Can I, can I have that I have a pleasure from Emunah? I have serving Hashem? That's right. But it says, all of us, if we have a, such a pleasure of Emunah, how come we don't come in with a happy and a smile? Why not? If we have an onik from the Emunah, pleasure from Emunah, why we don't come smiling? Why we don't smile? Each person needs to accept Kabbalah Din Shamaim. We need to accept everything that happens from the heavens is given up to us. It happens from the Shamaim. That means anything that happened in this world, it happens because that's the way Hashem wanted it. Not coincident, my friends. There's no such thing as coincident. My mother-in-law, she's bad. I don't like her. That's not coincident. Open Shara Gilgulim. Read all the 50 gates of Shara Gilgulim. Read Shara Gilgulim, which is the book called Book of Recarnation. Then you would know where you're standing. But you know, no, Rabbi, you don't understand. Of course I don't understand. Ani Malach, I'm an angel. I don't understand nobody over here. I understand perfectly. I'm living like you in this world. I'm by the nature in this world like you guys. Everything happened, most of us, we go through the same thing. Some of us less, some of us more. Some of us have a different tikkunim. But we all go through the different tikkunim. Don't think that somebody is going less or somebody is going more. There's no such thing. Outside picture is so beautiful. 
כל הרופאים יזהירו את החולים מבלי לדחוק את השעה. When a person gets sick, the doctor tell them, this type of food you're allowed to eat, this type of food you're not allowed to eat. What if a person does not listen to the doctors? We're talking about normal doctors. We're not talking about not normal doctors. Yes, I see normal doctors and not normal. So if a no normal doctor telling you this you're allowed, this you're not allowed. If a person is going to go against the doctor and he's going to do what he needs to do, what's going to happen? In a good case, he's end up in a hospital. In a bad case, either he's going to end up in a 49 exit or Cooper Avenue or in Eretz Israel, or Hala Menuchot. Four places he's end up, or Betach Tikva, or Kriyad Malachi, or Ramli Lut, whatever it is. So it says following like this. וזה תהיה רופאה יותר קרובה לבוא, אבל במה לחזק את החולה, שיהיה לו בהול עד תרופתו. לזה אין להם רפואה. But if a person is getting more sicker and sicker, no doctor could heal him. השם מרחם עלינו. Today, yesterday night, we knew Dr. Morad, he was a doctor. His daughter, Nelly. Take it out of your mouth. His daughter passed away today, 61 years old. She had that 60 years old. She did a big party. Four, five months later, she's gone. I haven't even seen her. Know the lady very well. The time, we have no idea how the time, what's going to happen with us. We don't even know how he's going to pass by. But we keep saying to ourselves, we still have a time. All of us, we still say we have a time. Yes, man! Altidak! Moshe, why did you not come? A rabbi, I was too busy. You haven't had kids, wife? Nothing yet, and you're still busy? You have no, no kids at night time waking up, coughing. You need to go to emergency room sometimes. You don't have that. No tuition. Nothing. But we are still busy. Shimon, why did you not come? Rabbi, I'm, I'm too busy. I cannot. I need to go to my in-laws. I cannot. That's an excuse. We don't cherish our life. Anachno, we are not cherishing our life. He says following like this. Our Chachamim said, they open for us. Chesed and a secret. How to be all the time in a happiness. There's no books. There's no house. There's no beautiful cars will make you so happy. It's good to have, but they're not going to make you happy. They're going to make you happy two, three months, four months. Prime example, I have a house and I have a pool. How many times I'm going to be in a pool? How many times I'm going to eat that steak? How many times I'm going to enjoy all the party in the world? If these things are so great, how come all the movie stars and all the rich people, the most depressed people in the world? And not only that, they hang themselves and suicide themselves and drugs and you name it. I thought everything is great. I want to live that type of life, Rabbi. Yes. But don't forget to destroy yourself at the same time. So he says, שיקבל הכל בשמחה. מבין יבין מזה אמונה מחייבת טבע, אחר הרופאים גם כן מזהירים על זאת, אלא שאינם יודעים במה יתנחם חולה בחוליו, על כורחך באמונה. If a person does not have an אמונה, he is considered a sick person. You know what he's saying? Saying somebody does not have אמונה, he is considered a sick person. חולה! How many times have we heard people say chole nefesh? Mamash kacha. Ze afilu lo matzchik. It's not even funny because sometimes we have this in our family members. En emunah. 
That's why we're depressed. I have everything, but I'm depressed. Why are you, why are you using these words? That means attack of fuitova. You unappreciated person. Why should I be depressed? No, Rabbi, you don't understand. I'm depressed. But why you should be depressed? That means you unappreciate whatever Hashem created this world. You did not appreciate why Hashem created this world. And simcha. So it's considered chole. Vize kawana pasuk. Vitzadik be imunato yichie. So Habakkuk says, Tzadik lives in his emuna. Habakkuk bed dalit, which is in a peric bed, pasuk dalit. Tzadik lives in his emuna. So we heard a lot of Israeli people say, Tzadik be imunato yichie. Or we say, they, they change the word. They says, Ish be imunato yichie. There's no such thing as a pasuk. It's a Habakkuk Pasuk says, Tzadik Be'emunato, Tzadik. Which is not the way they interpret. They interpret the Am, um, the simple nation of Jewish nation. Tzadik Be'emunato, Ish Be'emunato. I could do whatever I want to do. I, it's my choice. And that's the way I live. Yeah, that's not what the Chazal says. The, the, our sages, that's not what they interpret. Pirush, Tzadik Be'emunato Yichieh. Pirush emuna nichayehu. He says emuna will bring a life to that person. Machzika otav u'vesimcha. He says emuna brings a person, gives him power, and gives him happiness. Ki emuna noten bo balev tov laavin hem rag shulcho rachmana lerachem al adam. He says emuna only brings to the person. How much Hashem is Rahman on us, is mercy on us. Lachzir lemetov ta'anuk lechaye ad le'ad. He says it gives us ta'anuk. Ta'anuk which is means enjoyment and pleasure, no beginning and end. It's just how we accept it. We accept it good or we accept it bad? Some of us on the phone, some of us fall asleep. How do we accept it? If we're serious, we never be a nothing, just sitting and listening and pay attention. That's the most important thing. If you think it's important, you will never look around. But if you think it's not important, you look at here, the kids fighting here, there, this guy's doing something there. Everywhere, the brain's everywhere. And that's the way it cannot concentrate. It does not have a basis, foundation. When we're learning, we make sure we're going to have a foundation. We should not look arba mod, two feet from around us. You know how many times in yeshiva pass by people? Every, every second. I'm pretty sure if you're going to come to yeshiva, you're probably just going to look around, never going to put your heads inside the books. Because always there's somebody conversating. And always somebody saying something. And there's people walking in, walking out. We're gonna, so all the time is going to be like this. All the time. When you're going to learn, who knows? He's just going to learn whatever is happening over there. That's called not pay attention. We need to train ourselves. We need to talk ourselves. How I cannot pay attention only what I'm going to read and whatever I'm listening. But I cannot. The brains are disturbed. Disturbed, which just means it's too busy. I don't know with what, but it's too busy. With something. A lot of shtiot also. But it's busy. Vine kvar yadu asher amru ba darshanud haran, ki anachnu rohim asher kol ha-maachalim tovim batam. Vesame rofim he tipelim bli tam. He says, you know, all the good food is taste very good. But you know, all the medicine tastes very bitter. <laughs> How come? Very bitter. Bli tam. Mehem gam marim. He says, it's the also very bitter. He says, in order for a person to do straight, sometimes he needs to come through difficulty in life. Without that, a person cannot do it. How many people that you know, once the father and the mother passed away, they come to shul, then they stay in shul. That means for them, it's the best thing to happen. Unfortunately, needs to be through this mar, through these difficulties to come, in order for him to, to him to come, Hashem says, Hello, I'm calling you. Where are you? 
Come, please. Rabbi, I don't have time. Then how do you have a time for your father and a mother to say Kaddish for them for the whole year? You, that means you do have a time. That means you shaklan. You lied. And you walk in liar. How are you going to make up time? God forbid he's going to miss one Kaddish. Oh, I missed it. I cannot, I cannot. Can we do another one afterwards? God forbid we miss it. So Chazal says, what about for me? I seen it. I seen the way you guys talk and I see the way you understand it. Fact, reality, I see what you did for Hashem and what you did for your parents. Much greater than what we did for Hashem. But it's supposed to be opposite. Hashem comes first, then parents and grandparents and anybody else. It's normal to have parents. Yes, it's a nature. But we're not trained to have first Hashem. No, Rabbi, you cannot. I could speak like that because I've seen it. And uh, for me, it's all matters of action, not words. Words, uh, I, you know how many times? By the words that people told me, I already supposed to be have 100 buildings of Bet Knesset, Bet Amidrashot. By words only. 100 Knesset and Bet, Bet Amidrashot. They were building me Bet Knesset, Bet Amidrashot, already 100 of them. List. Words. We say with the word, you cannot even buy food in the street. The most important is the action. Hagula baschut emuna. He says gula, which is means redemption. It comes only in the schut of emuna. How many people got saved in the Noah time? Eight people. Who else? Animals. What happened with the rest of the people? The rest of the people <coughs> flooded. Why? Noah has the emuna. If a person does not have a emunah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you guys, when the Mashiach time is going to come, many of us are not going to make it. How do you know this? Atanavi, you're a prophet? I'm not a prophet. Shlish of the world, if Masechet Sanhedrin says, one third of the world will be destroyed, Hashem irachem aleinu. 80% in Egypt died out of 20 people, out of 20%. Uvda, uvda, which is, means facts. So we have this type of facts. It's impossible to say it's not a fact. Be'ezrat Hashem, Hashem should give us parachat tzlacha, sason v'simcha, briyud, arbe nachat be'ezrat Hashem. Tzadik be'emunato yichieh, so we live like the Chabakuk says, with the happiness, with the simcha gdola, we're able to do mitzvah with simcha. Banim atem la Hashem elokechem, so we feel like we are kids of Hashem, not kids of some American, United States of America or somebody else. V'chen yeratzon v'namar amen. Rabbi Hanani Aben HaKachah Omer, Ratzah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Lezakod.